Hello, everyone. Everybody say, OWS! <laughs> okay. So, let's, today, I want to share how are we going to create a simple website from Google. All right. First of all, you must have a Google Gmail account. Once you have a Google Gmail account, go to your Google site. This is the Google search page browser. And go to your drive. Sometimes, sometimes the, the site is appear here. Sometimes appear here, but sometimes don't. But that doesn't matter because Google has a lot of tools nowadays. So in order for us to have a can locate the web, Google site, simply go to our drive first. Okay, once in our drive, come to this area. The new one, click the new. There, there are so many tools that Google has already provided for us. So we want to make a website. We have to choose Google site. So there are plenty many things also that Google provides. We have a uh, map, drawings, uh, app script. You can, you can create apps also in Google, you see. Uh, Jamboard, forms, a uh, very famous one, uh, Google Forms, slides, sheets, documents. Okay. Now let's create a website. Go in, Google site. So once you click Google site, you will bring to this page. This is the blank page. What if uh, you don't have any idea that what type of page you want to create? It's okay. Simply go out, click in this area here. See, go back home. Where? Oh, yeah. Ah, site home. Click that once, it'll bring you back to the dashboard. This is the dashboard. So you can see that I have a plenty of website I made already. Now, if you don't know what type of template, what type of uh, layout do you, uh, or the website design that you want. It's okay. Come to the template gallery here. Click the template gallery. Now, there you see, Google site has been provided us a template already. Template for personal use. If you are doing a resume, uh, a personal profile, or work, a site for work, like events, help center, project, team, uh, all these. Uh, all the templates you can make here. Lah. Small businesses, uh, if you have a, a dog walking business, a pet store business, or a holiday party invitation, uh, photo portfolio, if you are a photographer, restaurant, yeah, if you have a tiny restaurant of yourself, you can create your menu inside here also. Saloon, education side, yeah, this is education for, example for education, classes, clubs, and student portfolio. Okay, for instance, for our case, because we are having products, we are selling air purifiers, water purifiers, and uh, some of the household products. So, what, which one do, is suitable for us? Well, it could be anything. It could be each and every one because all works out the same. If you pick the template, template can design for you the page, uh, the layout, and also the whole header. But for me, I personally, the one that I always love the most is I'm using restaurant. I tell you why. Okay, once you click the template, you'll bring us to the template. So once we reach here, the reason I always like using a uh, restaurant template because you see, all this site already created for you. For instance, we have a catalog. We need a catalog, right? For restaurant, it's already have the menu created page for us. Click into the menu page and take a look. See? So the layout has already been made. The price, uh, everything uh, is typed there already. So that's why I always like to use a restaurant uh, template. So all the pages are already created. Our job now is to only change the image and also change the text of the price. Also some of the context uh, as well. Okay, large a bit. Okay, actually using Google site is very simple. If you want to go back to the main page, at your very left uh, right hand side, you have the three session here. You can either choose theme, see what type of theme that you want, page, how many pages are in this website. At the moment we have at the moment we have four pages: home, contact us, chef, 
and also menu. If you click the chef pages, it will show you the chef pages. So for us uh, as a health planner, the chef page, we can change to our page. We can change the chef into health planner or uh, agent Koei, something like that. So you put our own pictures here. If we have any like awards or any uh, customer testimony, right? We can put here as well because it has been laid up. Everything has been laid up properly already. We only need to change the text and also change the image. Okay, this is a, just a quick tour. Contact us. If you click the contact us, this is where they show you. Contact us. Where is your location? If you want to put the Google Map link, uh, Google Map location, you can copy and paste the location there. They will find for you and search for you. If you don't want, it's fine. Just simply delete the page and the location page is gone. To bring the location page back, undo only. You see up here, you have to undo last section and also redo the last section. So just click undo and it will come back. All right, okay, move on. For the contact page, see, reservation. Reservation for us, we can change to booking. So can put our contact here and also the operate, uh, business operation hour here. If we have a picture of our shop, if we have a shop, if you don't have a shop, it's fine. We can put our <clears throat> product with our face or maybe if you are standing in the uh, roadshow booth, you can capture the picture of the roadshow booth and place here also. Um, see? And this, this area, you can put anything. You can put some of the products or some of the advertisement or can drop here as a contact. It's like people, when people go to contact you, Either they look at your whole shop, your whole exhibition booth, or maybe they look at your uh, awards or something. So I pretty much, I like to prefer restaurant template because everything is very nicely laid out. So I don't have to go and create one by one again. Actually, it's, it's quite very simple. Let's start from the very home beginning. This is the home, go back to home. Okay, for instance, this is the website name that we need to put in. <clears throat> Let's say I want to put my shop is like my Facebook page. It has to be same with uh, depend on. I think it's better if you have a Facebook page, whatever Facebook page that whatever names that you enter for your Facebook page, same name has to go here. Why? Because it's easier for people to recognize. If people saw your name, like my case, my Facebook page name. This is my favorite page name, Anthony Tan Kowei. So, come back to the site. I also change this to Anthony Tan Kowei. So, what is this all about? This is a restaurant. So, for us, we consider this is our web or our blog. Some people can use web. Some people use blog or some people use catalog. So, for us, I just put my Kowei welcome page. Something like that. Okay. And once your mouse cursor reach until this bar here, you notice that there's a setting button at the side. Okay, let's take a look what's inside. Navigation. This one asks you whether where is this header need to be located? Is it on the top or on the side? Traditional website, they put their bars at the top. But for us, we put at the side. And color, do you, what type of color do you wish to have for the bar? You want to keep it transparent or you want to keep it black or white? Well, I pretty much like clean and tidy, so I pick transparent now, so I don't need to change. Brand image, yes. This is, uh, if you have a logo, then you put your logo here. Otherwise, you don't have, simply just put the same image like what you have in your Facebook page. Upload the same image as your Facebook page. Okay, for instance, this is mine. So my Facebook page one, I put this image. Yeah, this one. So this little logo represent me. See, you come out already. And do you have any extra text you want to put there? Well, depends. If you don't want to put any text, it's okay. Uh, if you want to put text, it's still fine. Depends on what type of text you want to put. Welcome. I like to greet people. Huh? Welcome to my web page. Something like that. Oh, let's put like this. Yeah, this one looks more appealing. 
hold on to my web page. All right. Felicon. Okay, what is a Felicon? You know, sometimes when we go to certain sites, we notice that there's a, uh, how you call it, the small tiny logo appears in the site of the site of the, our website. Well, that is called Fabicon. See, uh, if I upload the same image as my logo, uh, update the same image. Okay. Soon, this little logo will appear somewhere in our search bar or in, in, in our bookmark. If we put it in our bookmark, it will appear here. All right, moving on, viewing tools. Well, normally I all keep this like very, I keep all this default. I don't change much. Custom main domain, okay. Since this is a free uh, website builder page, that's why we don't have a proper domain. Because every website, you need to pay for the hosting and you need to pay for the domain. What is a domain? Domain is a place to uphold, hold on to your website. A place that hold your website, that's why you need a proper name to have to uh, proper domain name order in order for your website to be up on, on the web uh, online. But as we are using free version, uh, that's why we keep on, uh, we, we stick to the Google setting, uh, we don't need to change. If you think the, you see, uh, make sure your site is easier to remember by the custom domain like www.yourdomain.com. Uh, uh, this is a normal thing that we used to see uh, because people pay for the domain. If you do not wish to pay for the domain, it's okay, just stick to Google setting. But the Google setting is this way, www.sites.google.com and then your name, all right? So if you want to spend money for your domain, please do so. And you can start up here by register one domain for yourself. Otherwise, no, you skip it. Next is the analytics. Analytics we cannot use at the moment. In order to use analytics, Google need, needs a certain requirement. Your website has to be like uh, uh, a few months in the record. And the website has to be very active, meaning uh, people come in and comment things, uh, what, uh, um, give feedbacks, and also people come in and out, checking in and out. Uh, your site becomes active. Uh. If Google notice that your site is active, then they will allow you to use analytics. Analytics is the thing that they use to track, track your, tracking your website, how many people come in, how many people click, how many people are uh, surfing around. So at the moment for the starting, no need to worry about that. Announcement banner, okay. Announcement banner. This one is normal, normally used for if uh, your uh, for certain business, especially restaurants or uh, cafes, uh, uh, they used to have a uh, happy hours uh, promotion, or maybe sometimes they you have a uh, certain 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 promotion or special discount. Yes, special certain discount like Black Friday. Uh, they want to put the announcement banner in the front of the page. So this is the place for them to create. Otherwise for us, we don't need to follow. So it's all convenient here. Uh, like you, if you have a 50%, uh, you have a 50% discount special. Uh, so you just put a message of uh, discount for percent and then uh, 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 click here. Let's put for example, uh, click here. And then you put your link here. Which page link that you want uh, when people click it, when do you want to want, want this page to be linked to? Where do you want to, where do you want to bring the people to after they click this button? So this is normally for e-commerce uh, and restaurants. Uh, if they have a special coupon in the certain page, they want people to go in that page and then download that coupon and then they take the coupon, went to the restaurant to show to the uh, the business owner, say that I have downloaded your coupon. Uh, if you see the coupon in their hand, or maybe you see the coupon in their in the website and in the mobile phone, meaning that they're already aware of the promotion. That's why if they, when they come to your shop, they come to your restaurant, you give them the special discount. Lah. So, so for us uh, in Kuwait, we don't use this uh, because all our prices and uh, everything has been fixed now. Okay, so we can skip this part. So a very simple thing to remember, navigation, branding, image, and also uh, viewers tools. Okay, just navigation and branding, uh, brand image, only these two we need to edit. Uh, the rest, just leave it. All right, coming back. Uh, you see the upper banner already appear. Just now I put that 50 ringgit. Uh, it already appear. Okay, then I take away. Uh, take away the 50 ringgit. Show, no show. Okay. There. 
everything is auto save uh, uh, in Google site. Whatever you do, whatever, whatever action you do is auto save one. Okay, give a name for your site. What type of site you want to put? Well, like, like I mentioned earlier, the name has to be the same as your Facebook page. So people are easy to recognize you. So just uh, seem, uh, explain anything that you want to say. Okay. So maybe I can put this like uh, top uh, sales uh, engine Kowei. Something like, something like that. Something to uh, give people to understand more about you and telling people about your own personality. Uh. Okay, for reservation, uh, this is a button actually. Mm. So for the button, whatever things you need to amend or you need to change or need to edit, just simply move your mouse to a certain area. It will indicate that which area you can change or cannot change. If the bar becomes blue color, uh, which means uh, it's removable, it can be adjustable. Otherwise, uh, if you don't want to change too much, if you're afraid that you go uh, mix around, so it's better to just keep everything simple. Lah. So for the button part, simply click once, and then the option will come out at the side. If you want to change the name, simply click edit button. So for reservation, I change to booking. Lah. And then where to book? You want to book here or book a form? Ah, you see everywhere, you, have, you need to prepare a certain uh, a certain uh, a lot of materials. If you plan to have a booking form, then you have to create another Google form that is signed booking. Then order when you have that Google form, then you copy the link, paste here. So when people click the booking, you'll go to that Google form for fill up their booking. So in Google's uh, resources, everything is intertwined. So it's very easy and friendly to use. So uh, just for example, uh, I just go through it very fast. Okay, change image. How are we going to change image? You see this whole thing is already one piece. Huh? If I move my mouse, it will show the whole square blue color already, which means the whole thing I can change. But I only need to change the image. How? Move your cursor to the image, click once. Okay, you will see a dustbin. Huh? And then click another time. You have to be careful. Huh? Not double click, no. Not double click. Click once. And then another time. Click twice, but not like double click, click uh, not like those click, uh, double click type. This one is also like slowly click and then click one time. And then this second option will come out. Once this second option has come out, you may either change the photo by coming to this three uh, dot here. You may upload the photo if you have the photo of your own. If you don't have, you can search, search the image in online also. Let's try search image. Uh. Okay, come to search image. Depend on where you want to, where's the image store. If the image store in your Google Drive, then you pick from Google Drive. If you don't have, you can copy paste a URL and then paste here, also can. You want to use a Google search one, also can. You want to use a photo one. Uh, this one also especially comes up for, if you are capturing in your phone. Uh, all the image that you capture in your phone, it will appear here. So for example, I want to take a example for product. Okay, maybe I put this uh, put this image. All right, now the image will change already. So there are different things to play around here. If you think the image is too big, uh, you want to adjust the picture, you can simply move your mouse to this dot, pull in. You notice that there's a bar here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are bars here. Those bars are called uh, web layouts. Depend on where you want to locate your web, these bars has to be uh, is for them to take your alignment. It's for the site to capture your alignment so you can place your image, uh, your text in the proper way. See, you can crop your image. Uh. If you think the image is too big, you can crop. Or if you think that you want the image to be this size, you, want, you wish to, for the image to be this size, but I want to see a little bit of the, the side of this side here. I want to see a little bit. I want the product to be in the center. Can. You may click the image once and then click another time and then click another time. Then you go in here. So this is for you to adjust the image. Uh, is it, adjust until you get the proper position that you want and then click outside. There, there you have it. 
simple, very yeah, friendly using. Or if you think that, okay, like maybe I don't want to, I don't want, want to crop the image. I want to be like, remain it. Can, click, simply click here, uncrop. So the image will uncrop. So this is the total size of the image. If you want to go back to the original size, the large one, sure, just pull all the way uh, until the very large. Then you click uncrop, you will go back to the same position again. If you wish you don't want, do not want this image, simply just remove it. Same goes to the text, any text that you want to amend, just simply one click only, the option will come out. You can change the size, the title, yeah, this is a style. Let's say that this title here is the style. I want it to be like a title. So I click title, it automatically become large text. So you don't need to go, no need to for you to personally go and manually change the numbers or change the fonts or anything. Uh, everything is depend on style. Heading, heading style. Normal, normal style, uh, normal text. Uh, for me, I think I want to keep this as a smaller text uh, because I, for me, this text is only like a caption. So, okay, so move on. Uh, just change uh, whatever text that you want to put in. So maybe this, this part here, I can put like, interested to find out more please click link below okay i put like this is for the reason is i want people to click here either i want people to click here or i want to create a button in order to create a button Go to insert and then scroll until you find a button. Once you find the button, click once, the button will appear. And it asks you, what name do you want to put at the button? Well, I want people to click here because I want people to shop directly. So I put shop now. And if you have a Kowei Mall link, you can paste your Kowei Mall link here. Or you want people to go to directly to your uh, Facebook page. You can put your Facebook page link here. Okay, just drop the link here. Insert and our button has appeared. So it's adjustable. Simple, move your mouse to this uh, until your cursor become like a cross. Then you can move this around. Either you want to put it here or you want to put it under the text also can. See, uh, now it's like a whole simple page already. And the bottom one, since this is a restaurant menu uh, template, press coverage. Well, maybe I, I can just put this simple, uh, just say like, uh, contact and turn it down. Uh, then just change, change whatever the uh, contact you want to put there or, or any code of ethics uh, or anything you want to put there or a special code, uh, anything you can change, depend on your creativity. If you don't have any idea of how to do, then either you want to remove the whole thing or keep it simple. It's all up to you, all ideas. If you still don't have any ideas, you can take reference for other websites as well. There are 20, many uh, references out or websites that you can take reference. Uh, you can follow their styles, how they put, how they insert their text, how they put their layouts, you can follow from there. So it's very simple. I just uh, share until here. So at the bottom footer here is for you to place your contact. You can place your address here, your phone number here, and your email. Uh, everything is just one touch, one touch. <laughs> so have fun and play around with it. Oh, one last thing I need to show is uh, for the insert, there are plenty different types of insert here. If you want to put videos, if you have your own video uh, YouTube channel, because Google is belongs to, uh, YouTube is belong to Google. So if you have your Google channel, let's say I want, I want uh, this video to show in my website. Um, okay, maybe this, this video. Lah. Let me just pick one. Ah. Uh, Kowei Lucy Plus. Yeah, okay, Kowei Lucy Plus. If you want this video to play in your website, simply just copy this web page. You can copy here or you share here also can. Uh, copy this link. 
or copy that link, same, you also can. Go back to your website. You want to place video? Click YouTube. Either you type the name or you put the URL here. And search. There, there the video has came out already. Select the video, select. And there, the video has entered to your website. So it depends on all your creativity. How are you uh, allow yourself to be flow? Let, let your website flow. <laughs> Image first, video first, whatever. Huh? You can have a play around with it. And this is how you insert video for your website. You can insert more. You can insert like maps, uh, documents, slides, calendars, a lot. Buttons, uh, we, I, I already showed you the buttons. And there are a few table contents uh, and also image with carousel as well. So you can play around with it. Each and everything you type, it automatically appear. You just drag and drop also, or you can just click the uh, plus and upload image. Both ways also can. You can click plus, upload the image, or drag and drop, drag and drop inside also can. All right, let's move on. Uh, you also have a layout. If you don't know what type of layout you want to put uh, for your web page, you can choose either if you want to put like a double image, uh, something like that, it will come out for you. So all you have to do is just change the text, change the text, and then upload the photo. So there are many types of layout here, you see. Uh, there are all types of layout here. Got the four image, one small image, three image, uh, and then also have a three, uh, uh, one, one quarter and two also got. Depend on how you want to play with it. Everything is all in your fingertips only. Like click and drop and also change the text. And that's it. You need to spend a little bit of time uh, to fix, uh, to uh, really setting up your website. So it's better that you uh, getting a developer to do for you. Because for the developer, all they have to do is they have to tap in a lot of coatings and a lot of programming. But for your case, just drag and drop. Uh, spend, spend a little bit of time to setting up. Once the thing is done, is there forever. Okay, let's say that all this thing has been uh, completely done. Same goes with your page. Oh yeah, just now I forgot to mention, the page is supposed to be on the top right, now it changed to the side. So when it comes to the side, when you click it, now this is what it looks like. This is what the site looks like. If you think that you don't want to have this, uh, at this bar at the side, go back to this setting, and this side mode, at the mode area, navigation mode, Change back to top. Now you will come back appears in the top again. So this is where you put your, all your menus here. And how do you change all these text here? Well, all these text is changed from this page area. You see, now we are at the home. This is the home page. So for my contact, I can place on my contact page. If you think that the contact shouldn't be at the second row, it should be at the last row. Sure, no problem. You see these three dots at the side? Each and every menu has a three dots at the side. Simply drag it down. Hey. Ah, drag it down like that. Yeah. See, your follows. See the difference? I undo, uh, undo. This is undo. So before, after. Before, after. And it's auto saving. Whatever action you take, it's auto saving. Okay. Ah, so it's adjustable also here. So for the chef, uh, I think we can change it. Oh, sorry. We can double click. To change the text, now we can put this like a uh, my profile. Mm, see, it changed to my profile also. Menu, you can put this as catalog. Oh, catalog, sorry, Mis misspelling. Catalog, there, it changed the catalog already. So it's up to your up to your choice. You can go in one by one, and change the profile, change the catalog, change the contact. So I hope that you all uh, spend a little bit and time and go ahead and play around. If you do have any questions, uh, you can drop your um, can can WhatsApp me or maybe uh, can I will upload this video in our Facebook group. So any any question you have, just type in your comments in the Facebook group, and I will go through. That. I will stick out for it, lah. Okay. And once this everything has been done, next what you need to do is 
publish it. <clears throat> you need to publish it. If you didn't pub publish it, which means uh, in the website, you cannot search for it. Now, let's come to the very last. Uh, let's say that the whole thing has been already completed. You have already completed all the settings, all the imaging, and also all the linking. Uh, all has been done. Next up, come to the publish page. Once you click it, it will ask you, publish to the web? Yes, I want to publish to the web. But what type of name do you want to put for your web? Exactly, follow the name exactly the same as your Facebook page. If your Facebook page is uh, Anthony Tan, by my case, I just put Anthony Tan, go away. So you see, yeah, uh, Facebook page, your web page, uh, 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 everything is all in the same name. So it's easier for people to remember and recognize it. And once uh, the name has already approved, you will see a pass here. Once you see a pass icon here, which means the name is good to use because in there's a lot of same name in the website. Just a, uh, some, a lot of websites have a similar name. Uh, that's why Google can tell. Uh, Google track very fast one. You can tell that which web name, which website name has the uh, correct name or have a similar name. If the name is very similar to other website, uh, Google will let you know uh, you need to change your name. Otherwise, you can use back the same name as your Facebook page. Okay, this is the place for you to set for your name. And you can change it anytime, uh, by the way. You can change it anytime. No need to worry. And once you have this type, uh, your name already selected, the rest, you can keep it as default. Because at the moment, we're not planning on having a domain name. Unless you really want to have a domain name, I guess you need to pay, you need to pay for the hosting. So to pay for the hosting, there are different types of uh, web hosting software you can use. Uh, uh, like uh, GoDaddy, uh, uh, there's another one called uh, uh, blue, blue, a lot, a lot. I, I kind of forget a few names already, but there are plenty of lot of hosting. But those are need to pay monthly. Uh, some can be go up until like thirty, thirty dollars, uh, US dollars per month, uh, for them to maintain your. If you buy, if you pay for the hosting, which means they will maintain your website on the website. Okay. Once everything is done, just publish it. Uh, and then he'll bring you to this page. See? Oh, return to editor. If you got nothing to change much, then uh, the, the program can tell you that nothing to change, ask you to return to your editor. Oh, go back to editor. If you, want, if you wish to see what is your actual website looks like, uh, what does it look like? Just simply click at this little arrow at the side of the publish, click it down, and then you take a look. View your publish site. Just now we are at the public setting. That is the place for you to change your uh, website name. Review changes on publish. This is only like review. Just now we have been there. So we, this is the place that we come out. So we are going to check what is exactly does it look like when we publish to the web. So view published site. This is published. If it's really, really go online, this is what you get to see. There, you have the logo there already. And your name and everything. Uh, the, even the video is there. And all the layouts are just now we put there. Uh, all there. And also the bar we put at the top right. So uh, the bar will appear at the top. Uh, the profile, the catalog, and the contact. So everything is about one click and one chain. Okay. Uh, all right. So now uh, there, the favic corner. Like, that's not what we see. Do you realize this little uh, uh, viewer tools? Oh, no. Oh, brand image. Sorry. We have the logo. This is our logo. This is the logo. Fabicon. Okay. Fabicon is this one. You see, yeah. When we go to a search bar, there yeah, we have a little logo appear. This tiny, tiny little logo appear at the side beside your your name. Now, every website has that, you see. YouTube has that, uh, Facebook has that, Pinterest has that, all have website has it. This, this is called Fabicon. Uh. That's why uh, if you put your logo there, your logo will appear in your Fabicon. <laughs> little cute little logo. All right, that's all about it. Uh, I hope you're taking, uh, enjoying what I'm sharing with you and play around with it, get to use it. It's not very hard. Uh. Once you get to use with, get, get to use with it, I think you will get a possession to create more website. <laughs>
All right. Uh, in order for you to go out again, you can simply just close the whole website and then just click to this dashboard page and go back to your front dashboard. If you want to create a bookmark for your web page, it's, it's convenient uh, because next time you don't need to go through Google Drive and then go and click again. Uh. So Control D or Command D, you will have you will appear uh, edit favorite. So normally I put my favorite in my bar. Uh, let's say I choose uh, just put because I already I like to organize my sites. Uh. Every website that I go through, I like to organize them. So this is the place that I put them, Google Sites. Done. Okay, Google Sites. So it's me, you appear here. So each time you want to come back to your Google page again, simply click here, and then this is where you arrive. Okay, uh, let's say that I'm in the YouTube page. If I want to go to my Google site, click Google site, and I'm in Google site already. No need to go through Google Drive anymore. Keep a shortcut. <laughs> all right. I hopefully uh, you all don't uh, enjoy what I'm sharing. Okay. And have fun with it. Any questions? Just put in the comment and our Facebook group. All right. Thank you very much. This is that Bota guys. Sign out.